Hello there, only one Kenobi here, only one. And this really will be a quick shot because I don't have much to say about this, other than I already have the figure loose because my good friend Lau, he sent me that ages ago when I had a P.O. box back when I had one. That guy sent me some lovely stuff and in, and this also was in one of the deliveries he sent to me. So that was always appreciated, Lau. Thank you very much. It was just, you know, great to receive it because, you know, I obviously have it carded, but it meant I didn't need to get another, which was great. And it's a nice figure. It's one of those dogs, isn't it? What are they called? Clatuians. Yeah. Clatuians. Um, and the card back reminds me of that ATRT trooper. That you got in Revenge of the Sith. It's a vehicle car back, which is quite a rare thing in the vintage collection or the Kenner line in, in total, really. Um, before we go on to that, I'll just talk some more about Lau. He sent me some great things, as I said, but one of the things he sent was this custom Dooku, which is just fantastic. And I don't know if you saw Tales of the Jedi, brilliant series. I rewatched it recently and it blew my mind. Those those Dooku episodes were so good. Filoni getting a lot of criticism at the minute, but, you know, a bit hit and miss that Ahsoka, wasn't it, really? But I tell you what, that was a great series. Tales of the Jedi, that was done so well. So if you haven't seen that, go see it. It's like kind of animated shorts in a way. 15 minutes a piece, are they? Quarter of an hour specials, brilliant. But let's have a look at this figure. Really nice. I like these guys. They're very doggish, aren't they? And they're quite aggressive in that episode. That's the Bryce Dallas Howard. Is that her name? Bryce? She did that episode with the shrimp. Amanda with the widow. Lost focus. Hang on. That's a great episode. And you, you're introduced to Cara Dune as well, if I remember. But these guys, there's loads of these fellas. But this is just one of them. And I struggle to know where to put him. <laughs> I've had him on my Jabba's Palace shelf for a while. Just because he's that way inclined look at him but you need a whole load of them and i never got hold of that either that um atst but i'm not worried really bothered about that because you know it, it did what it did in that one episode but given at the time it was available i already had a couple of atsts i didn't particularly want another one so here he is in the packaging look at that pretty cool detail isn't it and the pistol and the, on the, hol the chest holster there it's nice isn't he Really good. Good figure. I haven't really ever drunk him in closely, really. I received him, you know, as I say, as a gift. But on the day I received him, I got a whole load of other cool stuff. So I've not really paid close attention to him. But look at that. You'd be getting echoes now of Kithaba. Another Klaatuian. Well, Jabba's goons. Klaatuian Raider. Another green car back, Tim, from Bosk's Bounty. He loves them. Does green work, though? On that one with all these other colours. I don't know. Sometimes car backs are nailed, aren't they? Same car back as the other one. It's an eight back. I think it's got the same ones as Cal Kestis had on there. Let's have a look. Aha. Uh -huh. Looks to me like it's the same. And there you can see. Oh, the peg holes are slightly deeper on this, by the way. There's that code on the back. That's ridiculous. Did they need to print that on there? Lovely weathered features. Classic Star Wars, that isn't it? Very good. I might try and take that helmet off. Let's do that in a minute. And that's all I can show you. The car back's not the greatest, really. Uh, well, it's, it's good, but yeah, yeah, I've got all those. Ah, they're all there. The raiders running underneath. They're very aggressive, aren't they? It's like Vikings or something, you know what I mean? They're just like pillaging and ransacking the village or whatever disgusting all they're, all they're doing is going about their peaceful business and these guys wow that's more like it look at this fella look at that so you could army build him you could customize him up couldn't you, you could take you could have one with a helmet on one without maybe remove these i don't know i've not really thought about it really but anyone who's got that vehicle might be interested in getting a few of these and mixing and mashing and maybe get some kithabas bash them in there why not there's no rules here I wish I had manual focus, man. I can hold the focus and I wouldn't lose it then, but he keeps seeing something in the background and wants to focus on that. If you are joining me and you missed the previous episode, the quick shots are back. The last, well, the first episode or the previous one 
was the first episode back, which was Cal Kestis. So check that out and uh, join me for more. I think that's all I really want to say about this. I'll keep it quick, as is the title of the series. <laughs> Already had him open, so I didn't have to spend much time there getting him ready. But there he is, ladies and gentlemen, that is the Klatuian Raider. Those monsters who savaged that village. And uh, until they met, Cara Dune and Din Djarin, man, they put them in their place and sorted it out. And Grogu, of course. Thank you for watching, ladies and gentlemen. This has been Only One Kenobi. Only One. Out. <laughs>